Oh my gosh, oh my gosh. It is the return. The return of the bullet cable versus... Ah, I did it backwards. Ah, that's all right. The bullet cable versus the box. About three years ago, we did a shootout between both of these coily cables. Because coily cables are cool, right? And I know I said at the end of the video that I would come back a year later and tell you which one is the best one. Which one has withstood the test of time and the miles and the hours of gigs and things like that and which one can be stomped on and stepped on and swung around like a lasso and pulled on and spit on and told that it's pretty well it's not the bullet cable it's not this one i'll tell you that right away so won't keep you till the end. If you only came here to find out which cable is the best, it's the Vox cable. Don't get the bullet cable. It's trash. So here's why. I'm going to tell you why a couple reasons. This is one right here. Um, it is just, it tangles. And I know that's a thing with coily cables, that they kind of tangle up. But this one, the coils are so ridiculously large that it, it it's a mess every time. It doesn't matter how you... Put it up it's always a mess so that leads me to believe right away that it may not be quite as sturdy because it's constantly getting you know tangled up and stuff but i like to travel pretty compact and you know i do most of my gigs with bc and the big rig that's kind of the main the main gig that i have right now and that's the channel that we're on and everything like that but i also do a lot of side work and a lot of pickup gigs and a lot of studio sessions and things like that and I like to be very compact, and this doesn't pack very, very well. It's not very compact. But that's not the reason why this cable is such trash, because that's just the nature of a, of a coily cable with big, with big coils. The reason it sucks is, this cable went out on me in a matter of, I want to say, two to three weeks. Less than a month. This cable made it less than a month before it went out. So for a $50 or $60 cable... That's not that cool. That's not that cool for me. I don't like it. So I sent Bullet an email and I said, "Hey, what's up with this? I think I got a uh, think I got a bad cable. You know, I've used it for a couple weeks. It's been to maybe six, seven gigs or so, and it's already going out." So it took him a couple weeks to get back to me. It was around Christmas time, so I'll give him the benefit of the doubt there. Maybe they were on Christmas vacation. You know, who knows? They sent me another one, no problem, super nice about it. It lasted another two weeks. Same thing happened. And the interesting thing about it is it's not that they necessarily just go out, it's that they become extremely microphonic. So they're just super, super noisy. Now I play Telecasters and Strats and I'm used to single coil pickups being microphonic. That doesn't bother me, but the cable itself, this is one of the other ones I have, and you probably won't be able to hear this on the video, and I don't have my amp cranked up super loud. But, yeah, you're not going to be able to hear that at all on the video. But, in the room I'm in, it's going... It's just super, super crackly. You might be able to hear it. None of my other cables do that. The Vox doesn't do it. Nothing else does it. And it, it's even worse when you're at a stage volume. Because, you know, I like to play loud because it's rock and roll. And at stage volume, it's just, it's completely unacceptable for a $50, $60 cable to sound like that and to start doing that after two weeks. So, yeah, the bullet cable is out. Now on to the Vox cable. Here we go. The old, good old-fashioned blue Vox cable. As you can see, it's a little bit tangled up, but it un uncoils very, very quickly. The coils are super close and super tight. This has been a pretty good cable. You know, it's been going on almost three years now, and it packs up a little bit smaller. You know, it's not it's not huge or anything. It's not quite like the bullet cable. It doesn't pack up quite like a, you know, just a straight cable or anything like that. But this has been a good cable. It sounds good. It's it's sturdy. It's, you know, been to lots of gigs. Um, not as much recently. You know, when I first got it, I used it quite a bit at a few gigs, and I still do, depending on the gig. But I use it at home more than anything because it is so nice because it coils up so I can sit right here and do 
lessons or, you know, just, just play around the house and not have to worry about trailing a huge 30 foot cable or anything behind me. This coils up nice and neat kind of right here wherever I'm working. It's also nice for really small stages. If I go play somewhere where I'm really confined to the space that I'm in, this is nice because it just kind of coils up right there at my feet. I don't have to worry about, you know, 20 foot of cable kind of all laying out or anything like that. It makes it real nice for that. And it's only, I want to say it was like 30 bucks, maybe, maybe 40, maybe it was 39, somewhere in there, 30, 40 bucks. But it's been a great cable, and I would totally recommend this cable to anybody wanting a coily one. Definitely over the bullet cable. Bullet cable just, it's, it's not there. But now for the big surprise. The, uh, the big surprise is monster cable for me is the way to go. I've used monster cable for over 10 years, and I've used the same four monster cables for at least the last eight years. I think I've only had to replace one monster cable. They're perfect because they roll up nice and neat and they've been stomped on, they've been spilt, they've been swung around, they've been spit on, they've been, you know, everything you can imagine. Run over, tied up in a Jaeger knot at the end of a long gig and thrown in the back of a van or a trailer and picked up the next night and it still works perfect. Whereas, you know, the bullet cable, just doesn't do that so it's not there for me so after three years of research and development that took oh, you know about a month to do we're there so anyway that's it the uh, sequel so thanks for sticking around all these years um if you like what you hear and you want to see more we're going to start doing some more videos on this YouTube channel again. We're going to start firing it back up. We got some cool gear that we can start demoing out. Got some new amps, got some new guitars, got some new tricks up our sleeves, some new licks that we can show you. Get all sorts of cool stuff going on. Um, you know, this channel hasn't completely died or anything. We've still been uploading stuff, mostly having to do with uh, the band, BC and the Big Rig, and all the music. We just got done recording an album. Hopefully it'll be out here shortly in the next couple months and all that good stuff. And anyway, that's all I got for you. Bullet cables are trash. Suck it. Subscribe. We'll see you later.